All right. Live again. Back at it. This time at a more reasonable time, not past 10 p.m. like I normally do, Australia time. Um, I'm going to be working on Berry Game again. I'm going to give another int introduction in a second. I just want to check all my streams, make sure everything's working well. So bear with me while I set up. Let's go. Twitch chat. We get a YouTube chat. Very excited for this live. I think it'll be my first good one in a while. Gotta check that everything's all good before I start. TikTok's looking crisp. Actually, his welcome is off stream. Why is that? Oh, it's actually cropped a little bit. Good thing I noticed that. Let's fix that up on TikTok. Here we go. Oh, it's the crop. What the frick? Hold on. This crop. Oh, new. Gonna have to reset the crop. This is annoying. Can you see that? Oh my god, so annoying. I made it worse. <laughs> ah. Hold on. I gotta, like, make it smaller first. Damn, it's so annoying I have to do this again. This, like, TikTok studio, I don't know if you guys can see it. Software is very uh, annoying to deal with. This crop. But we're gonna get it. Some more. It's so annoying. Alright, okay. So we just want that window. Um, there we go. Crop. Nope. Selected the wrong thing. Crop this, please. Yep. Yeah, it's a bit hard to see, but hopefully that's good. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, see, I've missed it as well. So if I crop from here, is it go back? It's pretty annoying. Pretty annoying. It's all stretched now as well. I'm gonna import this from the start. Oh man. Bear with me, this TikTok studio software. It's gotten the best of me. Maybe I don't need to crop, let's just do the old zoomy doomy. Let's see. Where is B Manello, welcome to the stream. I'm just setting up here. Trying to get this window in the frame nicely. Um can I make it a bit bigger? Yeah, sweet. Cool. All right. That's good. Let's lock that in. And um, I was getting the YouTube chat. There we go. I kind of want to show you guys this thing here as well that I'm using this. I have this um, extension on Chrome. You can't see it in this view, but if I zoom out to desktop view. There, that transcript summary is, hold on, sorry about that, double voice, it's pretty sick, it uses ChatGPT to give like a summary of a video you're watching, and I think it's like a really fast way to consume content, so I'll give you an example here, if I just open a new tab, and let's search 
for how to deploy Cloudflare page. And you can save yourself 13 minutes of watching this video just by clicking this. And then getting in three clicks, you can get ChatGPT to summarize the YouTube video you were just watching. Let's see what it says. This video tutorial demonstrates, sorry, demonstrates how to deploy a website for free using Cloudflare pages. Um, okay, so that gives you a summary, but I think you can be like, what are the steps? Let's see if it'll give me the steps. Yeah, boom. So that's pretty sick. Imagine a service that takes all the YouTube videos and gives all the dot point steps or whatever, if they're a tutorial or like, you know. Because then you'd like say, I just saved myself 13 minutes. If this is like as good, I think you can get it to a point where it's as good. But boom, you could just have this on the side while you got your, what you're actually doing like two windows side by side, like just reading the steps, glancing back at them, boom, boom, boom. It'd be sweet. All right, we got this YouTube chat. Why can't I pop it out? There we go. Popped out the YouTube chat. Where's the Twitch chat? Here it is. Nice. Got our first Twitch chat message. D four R five C O D three. There we go. Thank you for the message. Let's see anyone else in Twitch. Anyone on YouTube? I'm gonna be starting again. Find gym nearby. Why does it say that? That's funny. Um. Okay. What are we doing? X code. No. C S. V S code. What am I doing? I'm going to be working on this game, Berry Game. I came up with the name, this name of the game, but I've been working on this project, this code base for over a year. I have voice. You can't hear my voice? Shit, what you mean? Hold on, let me check Twitch. You say, yeah, that means you can hear my voice. What you saying? Yeah. <laughs> Send Discord? Uh, yeah, one sec. I should make that automated, hey. So I have a Discord called um, Tech Friends Community. And I haven't really, like, posted anything since last year, so it's been pretty bare, but we're growing slowly. Um, let me get that ID for you. Here it is. Tech Friends Community. Um, how do you share it? Invite people. Here we go. I'll hop in the chat if you want to talk. In the lounge chat. Um, yeah, I'm making this. There's some things that I want to do. The next E. Oh, I can't hear you. Hold on. I think I have to change my voice audio settings um, there we go speak now oh you muted oh good um, uh, can you mute Zach? yeah yeah I can hear you now welcome thanks for joining the stream on twitch how are you doing I muted again I don't know if you want to talk or not, but it's all good if you don't. Um, I'm just going to continue here with my game dev. So if you, if you want to play this game, it's also hosted right now. Um, I'll show you the URL. It's alpha dot berry game, B E R I dot com. Alpha dot berry game. Yo. What's up? What's up, man? How you doing? I'm just streaming some React game dev. 
What are you up to? Well, I was just checking your stream, looking for somebody to join for the night. Nice. But, uh, Where are you based? Still daytime here for me. Uh, it's Europe. Europe, nice. What does daytime mean for you? Daytime? Yep. Like during the day. Like yeah, it's 1.44 p.m. Are you UAE or... Australia, yeah. Australia. Australia. Yeah. I'm GMT thinking. plus 10. Uh, okay, okay, cool. Thanks. 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 So yeah, what you yeah. doing, Doc? Yeah, man, I'm, make, I'm trying to make... Have you played RuneScape? Um, I have a little bit of experience with it. It's like a multiplayer MORPG. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah, I'm building that. Big. Like something big similar. Big. I posted a link in the um in the general chat if you wanna come test it out. Um, sure. sure. Hell yeah. Alpha.berrygame.com. So, uh, oh my God, it's in browser game. Actually. Yeah, yeah, in browser, oh, multi device, really? cross device. Oh, yeah. yeah, bro. <laughs> uh, React 3 Fiber. So, have you heard of 3JS or WebGL? I've, I've used a little bit of React, but never in this context of using it in a, like a 3D environment. It's something yeah. Me. Yeah, no, normally it is for 2D websites, but I've taken, like, there's this library where you can build 3D stuff with it as well. And I've pretty much made, like, a game engine thing that I'm building my MMO off of. Yeah, bro. Crazy man, you're crazy. <laughs> That's pretty insane, man. So, so explain me. So, how do I move in this world? Do you want me to share my screen? Um, you just click to move. So you click anywhere, okay. and you can okay. move there. Ah, okay, okay. Can I or tap. Change the view. You can scroll to zoom. Oh, like to first person. That's me behind you. Oh, that's you. Hey, yeah. We have, we have another guy over here. Who's here? Who? Who's the other guy? Oh, that's the NPC, the big giant. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. I can, I, I can type it. I can you type can, it yeah, yeah, in the chat. Or you press enter to go to chat. Okay, I'm gonna say hello. Yeah, nice. <laughs> you like it? Yeah, Thanks, man. It is. This is pretty cool. I like it, man. It's pretty awesome. So, what's, what's your day with doing? Where do you want to go with this? So, today I'm gonna um, interact. See how you click the tree? It says harvest tree. I haven't implemented that yet. That's what I'm gonna do. So, you go and you can harvest berries from trees. What do you think? Awesome, yeah. Good. And that's the first the first item is going to be a berry and that's why it's called berry game and we won't have coins all the economy is going to be based off berries that you harvest from trees you made all the 3D models? No, so I downloaded a pack from Sketchfab that had like so many models. Yeah. I have some videos like a video on it on my TikTok. Have you seen my TikTok videos? It's all good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You don't. You don't have TikTok. I have, but I don't yeah. Use it. You don't want to use it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Waste of time. Like, look, 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 look. TikTok is amazing when you open it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, it's too much. Half your day is bye bye bye. You know? yeah. 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 For sure, it can be a time sink. I can add to it's no problem. Uh, no, it's all good. I was just wondering because um, I have like some videos where I show. You, I can actually show you here if you're watching this stream. Uh, I can show you I'm, the. I'm gonna put you up on the second screen. Can you okay. Me? Yeah, yeah. Um, if there's anybody else in here, I don't want to take over the 
streams. So. What's up? No one else has really yeah. said anything. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. It's uh, your stream, bro. I just yeah. Be yeah, it's all good. I, I want to show this um, 3D pack if you want to see it, if you're interested. I have like two you do, videos. You do 3D stuff? Uh, would you be interested in to actually doing a game together? Like a small game? I already have defined the rules. Have I yeah, I'm already so invested in my one, bro. I'm sorry. No, no, no. But I mean, this one could be done quickly. Yeah. But How quickly? Like, uh, less than two hours? What you, what's your strongest point when you think about game design or gaming in general? With my skill? Mm, what do you mean? Not your skill per se, but what you enjoy doing the most. Uh, I don't know, playing, <laughs> like competitive. You're a competitive person, yeah? Yeah, I don't really play story games, it's more like player versus okay. player. What's your favorite game then? I've been playing a lot of Apex Legends right now, you know that one? Yeah. Battle Royale, yeah. Uh, I tried to learn it, but it's so hard, man. I yeah, that's why I like it, you know, there's a lot of skills. Um, like, as long as it's been in beta, so like, I think it's four years old now. I've been able to stay away from it until now. I'm still not gonna play it, so probably... I'm gonna nice. Be That's good. Game. Sounds like you have good self-control. No, I don't. No? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't. Just regarding this part. True. Okay. Right. What do you think is better, front end one? Mm, I think I'm gonna say something that maybe sound like jumping on the early uh, bandwagon. Mhm. Mm because I'm gonna say Svelte. Svelte. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why do you think it's better? Um, the way it behaves and it understands the difference between client side operations and uh, back end operations. And they still. Right. Yeah. That's what I. I like, I like the fact that they understand that they both need it and they give you the choice to build your own backend or use somebody else and with react you're just like this is how i want my backend to be performing if, you, if that makes sense yeah sure i got a question here from tiktok Chatler says, why are you using React and not vanilla JavaScript? And I think like the virtual DOM and like for the UI especially and stuff is like a huge bonus with React and it makes it a whole lot easier. Um, it, it Like for my experiments, it also performed better than what my project was when it was just pure vanilla JS because this did start with just three JS and no React initially, but after trying out React 3 Fiber, I just haven't really turned back. I can add something to it. If you yeah, go ahead. Okay. My idea is this. If you're starting out developing any type of application, you only have a superficial vision of how it should operate. And uh, using a framework, doesn't matter what type of framework, it's gonna solve a lot of the basic needs that you need in any type of application. 
That's true. So you could say the benefits of using a framework is not having to deal to write code to deal with the most basic hmm. uh, functionality that you need. Yeah. And if you're happy with a certain framework, how they uh, solve this issue, then you should adopt that. Because there's no way that you personally could bet, uh, write something that could be better performing than this. That's how I look at it. So at a certain yeah. point, yeah. I'm sorry? With the like more performant thing, like if you have a very basic website, sometimes it'll be more performant if you just do vanilla or like no, you know better. It's not. No, it's not. No. No. If it's, it's just like displaying a single line of text, you're gonna import a whole React library versus just showing that one line of text. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but now you pushing the envelope if you know what I mean with that yeah sure like it's not realistic scenario yeah yeah you're yeah. <laughs> trying to say I'm building an application that just want to put a string yeah on the screen like what the fuck man who wants this <laughs> type of application well like also in like 3JS might be faster if you don't have UI maybe I'm not sure or something uh, along those lines. Like if you're just displaying a canvas for three JS and you wanna display a like a three D model and there's no other functionality, maybe could be faster as well. Okay, explain what you're saying. Um like okay, compare two apps. One is written with React and one is just plain no React, no no framework, just JavaScript. But it's using like three JS to render an object, like just a GLB file. Okay, okay, I understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask you something, and then you can answer the question again. Okay. Yeah. So, are you feel fully aware about the uh, uh, GL operation? No. Okay. So you would say you would not feel comfortable programming only OVGL stuff, right? Uh probably yeah, not a, not very comfortable compared to like JavaScript. Okay, okay. So yet again, an abstraction would be useful for you. Yeah. Useful. So you could be able you to say just Draw me a circle, draw me mm -hmm. a, a square, whatever, whatever, right? Yeah. But it might not be as performant as if I was to know WebGL. Sure, it's more convenient, but like might not be but more performant as performant, yeah. Then when you, if you use the framework, it could do these things more performant, probably then you would could ever do with your personal written code so quote unquote personalized to the subject do i make yeah sense? yeah what do you think i don't disagree with you but i was just thinking like performance wise writing without any like layers of I, abstractions I, I, would be better my my personal idea is this performance wise uh, you should use every possible framework in your uh, scope that allows you to only write hmm. uh, specific wow. code. Yeah, just like the unique code. Yeah. You don't want to do any boilerplate or uh, over... Yeah, yeah. That's how I feel about it, but I don't know. Yeah, what do that's, a good, that's a good that's a good analogy to have. Like, sorry, not a good like uh, strategy. That's pretty much what I've done with this. Is that's why I've used React is because it's probably what I've got the most experience with. Probably not the best thing to write a game in. 
because there's no game engines that's a big factor like unity and unreal engine i was so amazed how it looked like man that's pretty good very good so thanks man go with it? yeah like so in towards like mmo like runescape pretty much like you what i'm doing now is like inventory system harvesting berries and um having the chance of actually no that's later and then after that i'll be doing like the combat system which will be really basic just a way to attack opponents and opponents have health and stuff um trying to do like real basic at a time yeah five games on my chairs, man. I love those. yeah this okay. fighting will probably be really basic like just click and then a random number will of damage depending on your stats kind of thing if you're, if you, if you really Games, yeah. I have to ask you one question. What's that? What did you, what game did you buy today? Uh, I don't know. I don't really play like survival <laughs> games. Did something come out today? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. But today, um, Son of the Forest came out. Just Son, of the, Son of the Forest. Yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, this is not a plug-up. I'm, I'm not working with them. I'm yeah, that's all good. I just, I'll check oh, yeah, them out. Okay, okay, just making sure that, a, that you know. I didn't even hear of him. No, but this is the guy that makes um, the force before this. You know oh, you okay. Mean? No, is it single-player survival? Uh, no, oh. it's multiplayer. Multiplayer? Oh, like Rust? Uh, or something? Yeah, but the first game was a little bit less, but this game... I played the first, I played the intro, it came out today, and uh, You liked it? Yeah, 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 hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah, this is good, this is good, man. I like it, but I'm not sure if this is the type of game you're going for, though. No, I'm going for more basic, like, mobile-friendly aesthetic, mobile that's for friendly. sure. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm completely, how, how much experience do you have in mobile? Uh, like native mobile, yeah. a little bit. Doesn't matter. But I have zero experience mobile. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. See, my things are built on the web, but they're built such that they're responsive and like playable on mobile. Oh, okay, so it's like a one device fits I, all. That's like I, I, one I of the main reasons I did it on uh, web. Mobile game. I made like. Yeah. Four, five, nice. Ten. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. But some I. I just thought about and I made somebody else because I am at the stage that I don't want to program anymore. Ah, uh, yeah. So you find uh, someone else to do it for you? Um, Is that what you no. mean? No? No. I so mean, then what do you do? I can make documents so I can make somebody else do it for me. That's a different yeah. thing, right? Mm -hmm. like what kind of documents do you make for them? SSRS, okay. I'm Google that. Yeah, it, it's a good uh, starting document because um, even before you start making the game, you mm -hmm. really try to understand what the core feature is gonna be and why it's fun to play the game. Yeah, so that's a very important thing. Yeah, yeah, kind of. I like that. I like that. I, I, I don't discuss too much of this stuff with people because some people are more into this woke bullshit they try to go with the feelings you know mm. and uh, yeah yeah i got a uh comment on twitch someone nick the kicker has asked how did you learn how to code do you want to answer that is a question towards you or probably but uh, i want to hear your I've answered this before, so I want to hear your answer. Okay. If that's okay. So how, so how do you want me to take the question as like how should I learn code or how do? How did you personally, yeah, like what got you into coding and how did you okay. like get your skills better, improve your skills? Okay. How do yeah. I improve my skills? Okay. The only re the way to improve your skills is by writing a lot of code mm, by and practice and, and that that basically means that you have two choices you either 
go the mad route, which means you understand about uh, logic and uh, algorithms, and you know how to write them down in a formula. And then it becomes easy because you don't have to write the code and just just formulate your ideas into a simple uh, formula. If mm -hmm. you're not able to do this, then you um, you need to learn mathematics the basic of mathematics which means like learn it's hard to hear him oh they're saying it's hard to hear you yeah there we go I'll turn you up a bit and you don't agree yeah i think so i think you said some good points that it's easier um it's really good best way to learn is to write a lot of code by practice that's for sure um i like to give a tip that's like try to make something that you like and something that you're interested in rather than just any project that you see on the internet um, because you probably have more chance of sticking with it and doing spending more time with it. Nick also asked, um, can you still get a junior dev job without a degree? Definitely you can, 100% possible, but it might be harder in some situations, some countries. No, 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 okay, okay. I have to correct you over there, bro. Go, go ahead. Okay, listen. Um, I have zero school, okay? Yeah. Um, the first time I made uh, working for myself, I made more money than any people that could do when they get finished from a university, okay? Yeah. The only for thing sure. that you have to make sure about is this. In the same way that you play an instrument, you should be able to program. Mm -hmm. And I think personally, that when you finish basic school you know plus minus uh, division all these things are inside your brain and it's not hard to grow from this to a uh, more expensive uh, exotic mathematics yeah but but the problem is this the he's he's also asked okay. when will he know he's ready to apply for a job. I think for a junior jo a job, if like um, just look at the experience they require, and if they're willing to take you on, I think some junior positions might take you on with just very little experience. Yep, he's right. A lot of positions they try to oversell the qualifications that you need mm. to actually do the job. Why? They want the most perfect person in this position. But they don't have the money for it. So they're just bluffing. Hmm. And um, if you feel comfortable with yourself and you say to yourself, hey, I take in enough time to understand the basic of this concept. If it's a language like C sets, HTML, C++, it doesn't matter. Um, just be honest and say like, yo, um, I got, I, I learned the basics. I want to do the work for you. If you have somebody else that's better than me, I can learn from this person, but I'm, w I can do stuff, you know? That's all that companies want from you. They don't require you to be a rock star programmer. They don't. Yeah, that's right. Nick also asked, um, he's heard that the entry level mar market is saturated right now. No, you, hell no? no, man. The entry level market right now, they yeah. are, um, in my own opinion, uh, how they say I'm, I'm trying to find I'm not native English okay so I'm sorry mm -hmm. guys it's all good um, it's my hold up test my audio okay okay I think this yeah. both recruiters and yourself are asking too much of yourself. 
programming is not that hard and uh, people that gonna ask questions beyond your understanding just be honest and say like yo um i'm at this level i don't know un- yeah really especially don't for understand. a junior position yeah and then say cool. like i want to learn i'm not there yet i don't know what you're talking about and then this company has two choices they're gonna say like like you're not fit for a company because we need somebody that is gonna be c- capable of dealing with this kind of issues of they're gonna say like hey this guy is hungry he want to learn we're gonna take him in and we're gonna teach him how to get to to that level i hope that answers your question I don't yeah know. for sure i think like f- yeah in junior positions people are looking to um grow people from you know little experience and they're willing to have someone there to teach them usually Nick asked if we're both senior devs uh, um, yeah I am at my position at the moment um, me? But no, and no I don't own the programming anymore man yeah <laughs> you know, you've moved on Zwiggy on TikTok has asked there is a hacker in my computer and network I don't know what to do <laughs> oh shit Zwiggy can, um, you, can you rephrase again <laughs> please his question he says there's a hacker in his computer and network and he doesn't know what to do mm, that's trolling man he's trolling <laughs> yeah he is okay. what if he's not trolling what should he do no he is. reset okay. everything that you can nah, if, if you're at that level you don't ask his questions <laughs> the only tech jobs that are don't require coding? oh it's a different yes. person Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. There are many, many. True. Actually, I would say at the current Sweet. situation, as how. Oh. I don't want to. Th- I just want to answer the question. I'm going to ask you a question and then I'm going to leave the other guy. I'm going to say. So, are there any tech jobs that don't require yeah? coding? Yeah, 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 yeah. Heaps. There are. Project there are, management. There are a lot. Um, Project management. Analysts. Dallas science yeah analyst like yeah i would i would say that actually there is more value in non-programming coding jobs nowadays so if you're good in those things like designing something awesome doing great marketing uh and doing great analysis and uh, analyze at least what analytics? is analytics Analytics. I don't know. No? Analytics. Like yeah, maybe it's about analytics. usage and like stats. Stats. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. what I'm going for. There's also like automation um, that sometimes oh, can be done without yeah, coding. Automation, de- deployment. Yeah, um, definitely true. Some CI/CD can be done without coding, but coding is definitely really good to have. Depends, kind of person you are. Yeah. If you like helping people, I think I like doing something for other people type of you. If you like optimizing stuff, then you're more like an, a scientist type of person. Mm-hmm. But let's get back to the stuff you were doing. I'm sorry. Yeah, man. Uh, it was good to chat with you. I'm going to like maybe just focus on developing for now. Um, but yeah. So sorry. I'm- I'm so it's sorry so good. It was good to have you around. I think you were um, delivering some good value and answers for everyone. I okay, hope to yeah, see you around some more. I'll Nick says he's joined Kik, uh, Discord too. Good. So what are we doing, bro? So we are making... The React and we're making... What part an inventory of the game? component right now. Oh, so I'm gonna do I always that. thought that I hate that part, man. That's so Inventory? much UI. Yes! Yeah, the UI. It's so yeah. much UI stuff, and I hate working with UI. That's all right. I, I don't mind it. I'm more of a front-end dev anyway, so this is my um, playing field, I guess. So what do you do in your daily life then? Um, yeah, I'm a front-end. Well, like I'm a tech lead at the, my position at the moment, but... Most of my work is like front end. 
Yes, How X, many years? Um, I'd say like se- at least seven years of commercial experience in like similar roles. Oh. But yeah. like I've been into like making programming stuff and like startups and my own apps um, since I was much younger. I initially started mm. with gaming to answer Nick's original question, how I learned to code. There was like flash games when I was young on the internet and I really liked playing those on the computers at school. So I tried to learn to no make my own way. games. Yeah. Can, you, can you link some? Uh, games that I made in primary mm-hmm. school? Of course, yeah. Uh, this wasn't, imp- I don't think I have any online, but d- there was like a website oh, called Newgrounds. That's so sad, man. I'll try to find one I made for you. So hey, you Nicker. Ask, how would someone... Nick, Nicker. N- oh my god, I hate Nick your name. <laughs> Nick, <laughs> Nicker, Nick, Nick, oh wow. my god. I'm, you're gonna Enough get to death fucking in, banned. Bro. You're gonna get banned. <laughs> Dude. The Nazi Wylan. Um, let me find the game I made. Ball of Duty. I think it was called. Is it here? No, Call of Duty. Call of Duty. No, it was so long ago. I wouldn't be surprised if they took it off. But yeah, I had a game called Ball of Duty. It was just like a ball labyrinth game. Um, yeah, I'm going to get back to developing this inventory controller, I've called it. I didn't mean to call it that. I'm going to call it just inventory. Uh, whoa. Just check my stream. Okay, cool. Um... So pretty much what I want to do, we're going to do this in stages. The first stage is I'm going to have just a render, something blank, just so I know the components working. So we're going to add some styles here. We'll go width, 500, height, 500, and we'll go background, color, red so it's nice and obvious and then we'll just have that component in our whole game component library um actually i'm going to create a new component as well and i'm going to call this ui and we'll have a component that holds all of our ui components um might as well call it ui components just seems ui seems a bit short and we'll save that in our components library. UI components. Maybe I should call it UI components group. No, it's maybe too long. Dot TSX. I really need a fucking props thing on my TSX one. Oh well. Um, and we'll return a group. Yep of let's see if we can just put chat box in here now oh we have this oh interesting actually we have a little dependency here oh Zwiggy I missed your message you've asked how would someone that's not very tech smart start coding um I guess you don't need to be tech smart to start the actual coding. Maybe use one of those websites to learn coding, like basics coding. Let's let's try to find one. There's like little quizzes. I've I've seen some before. No, this isn't what you want. Um, Damn it! I swear there's some. Learn coding game. Coding game. Dot com. Do this. This should be fun. Let's do one right now. Oh, you gotta sign up. Alright. Onboarding game. 
Welcome to the onboarding game. This is your mission. Choose a programming language. We're gonna do JavaScript. Time to code. Okay. This tells your program to shoot the closest alien. Copy and paste this code and add it to the bottom of the editor. See, this is really, um, really accurate because in normal programming, you'd be copying, pasting code too. Let's check your code. Play. And then you get to see your code get played. Nice. If we program that turret to shoot the enemies. Sweet. And you can read that code if you can be bothered, but if you're just doing basics, you know, take it one step at a time. Alright, back to my game dev. We were thinking about making a UI component here, but um, there's this chat message sent thing that handles how... wait, what happened? Is it just chat message? Oh, it's just chat message. So what do I do with that chat message here? I say if it exists, I show the bubble. Okay. Well, we're gonna move this to zoo stand. Um, so we don't have to worry about it. Um, oh. I'm going to comment this out. Dad's AirPods with a question on TikTok. Give me one sec. He's asked, in my fourth week in my Java class in college, but I can't memorize anything. Any tips? I've heard a good tip for memorization is mnemonics. So it's like you relate something to something else. Um, let me try Google it for you. Probably do a better explanation than me. Mnemonics. Also, another thing is if you can get in a heightened alert state while you're learning, I think that helps you um, learn better. There's like some science on that. New mnemonics mnemonics that's one strategy um, always get good sleep because a lot of memories are formed during sleep so get a good sleep that would help um, yeah those are some hot tips um, okay so can I extend this out hold on here we go. How many hours do you recommend I spend a day on Java? Um, I think per day you probably like the more the better of course but then there's some limits you have to always consider getting like eight hours of sleep make sure you're eating right and exercising right and that like if you do the minimum like healthy things you need to do then you probably have like about eight hours of time you can spend I think all of those eight hours is probably too much to just study so maybe if you can do like minimum 30 minutes a day maximum four hours a day Anything between that would be really good. You'd always make progress. Small progress is better than lots of progress in one day and then stopping. So do something manageable for sure. Don't burn yourself out because then you'll stop completely, which is the worst. Um, all right, so what am I doing? I'm moving this U, I'm making this UI component folder complaining about that I'm just gonna create something null this chat box is in a different relative directory let's see if I can nope nope where is chat box 
Thank you, Dad's AirPods, for the rose and the like. I appreciate it. Feel free to ask any more questions, anyone who's watching. Um, I'll try to answer them the best I can. Let's be tech gods together. <laughs> All right, where is this chat? Oh, it's in the same directory. Here we go. Just complaining about that. Yeah, that's some TSX stuff that I'm going to ignore because I'm a bad TypeScript dev. Uh, okay, game component. This will just set to false for now as we proceed to build out the UI. Is my chat still rendering? That's a good question. No, it's not there anymore. That is an issue. Oh, it's because I haven't imported the UI here. We'll just do that up the top here, UI components. Let's see if it is there now, yay. And our chat is back in our new, new UI components group. Dad's AirPods has asked, what's my opinion on chat GPT? I love it. I think AI like that, generative AI or whatever you want to call it, neural networks has is like such a cool piece of technology and it will help humans so much. Um, it might mean some things are going to change, jobs might be lost, but it's going to be jobs that we won't need in the future. So we, it's like definitely a progression thing in my opinion. How many games have I built? Asked Dad's AirPods. Um, a lot, but like proper games, which I'll call like at least semi-complete, maybe only like three I ain't gonna lie, I used it for my essay writing. Yeah, definitely. It's so good at writing. I would like, yeah. It's like when the calculator came out, you know? It's similar to that. <laughs> it's a thinking machine. Okay, um... My new UI components are here. That's sweet. Let's get that chat bubble back, because right now I think the chat bubble is commented out. So... Wait, can I access in it? No. So, um... Yeah, we need to open our big state management library called Zoo Stand, and we're gonna get this chat messages sent here. Just sent message. Make that empty. Actually, it's gonna be a string. Um. We initialize it to null, okay. And then every time we send a message, we can actually add just sent message to new message as well. Oh, this is in the wrong spot. New chat message. Okay, so now when we send a new chat message, we have this new just sent message thing that we can um, populate. This will sh help us show the chat bubble and we also want to clear just sent, which will clear the just sent. Um, let me, whoa. I'm just gonna copy this. Dad's AirPods, new question they've asked. Sorry if I'm being annoying with all these questions. It's all good, um, would you ask? Do you recommend I use it for my Java class? Um, hmm, that's a good question. Like, the less you rely on it, the better you're gonna be without it. But, so it's up to you. If you think that you're gonna need to know Java without having to look at the internet, then don't try to avoid using it and learning just, I don't know, how, how you ever you think you're going to use it in real life. But for me, in real life, I have access to ChatGPT in my job and, you know, whenever I'm not doing like coding quizzes or something. So it's like, I'm definitely going to keep using it and learning how to use it better. And that's what I'd recommend to most people. But just be weary. It could be, it, the, like the obvious downside to that is you're not going to be able to do as good of a job by yourself potentially 
at least initially, until you finally actually learn why things are. The good thing about ChatGPT as well is it actually explains a lot of its answers, even though sometimes they're wrong. So yeah, you could be learning the wrong thing too. I guess that's another downside. Um, but yeah, keep double checking and making sure you have the right answer. Okay. Clear just sent chat messages back to null. Okay. Let's test these new methods out. Um, so in game component, we're gonna import just, wait, what did we call it? We called it just sent message from the use chat store. And um, that's what this is going to be, just sent message. And we got to make sure that we update that just sent message from the chat component. Where did we do that? Oh, wait, hold on. Whoop. Using the props. We know our props. Chat log. Chat box, here we go. Message just sent. Set chat message sent. Here we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna import that same um, thing we did here. Chat store in the chat box. Um, but instead of just sent message, we're going to do, oh, actually we don't need to. Where do we call add chat message? Cause I think we already do that. Um, in API. Okay. That's fine. Uh, set timeout here. We will do that all here apparently. Wait, what? API.tsx. Right here, WebSocket message received. Oh. That's interesting. WebSocket send message. All right, so maybe Hold on, set chat message sent. Oh, okay. I think I'm gonna use um, this one anyway, but I'm gonna use um, add chat message. This is a JSX, gross. That's AirPods, right? What language or script is this? So this, oops, sorry. Sorry about that mic sound. This is um, React and JavaScript. This is a J JSX, this one's TypeScript, but I'm like not using TypeScript very properly. So pretty much it's just JavaScript and React. Uh, yeah, I'm using this manage state management system called um, Zoo Stand, which is really nice. And hopefully, this will work. Let's see. Oh, actually, I need an in player controller as well. I need to uncomment this. And um, instead of using props, I need to use just sent message, which I will have to import like I did everywhere else. I 
All right. Let's see if my chat bubble shows up now. Nope, that makes everything crash. Kocho just joined. Nice. Okay, it's crashing. That is no bueno. Is that because of what I just added? Or something else? Oh, it's been an hour. I'm going to do some neck stretches. Toasted Pickle says it's React.js. That's correct. Good job, Toasted Pickle. I was looking for a tail. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what Dad's airports followed up the right, but I only saw that anyway. Sorry for my bad grammar, it's all good. Uh, well, chat bubble, nope, still crashing. Okay. What is causing it to crash? Is it this? It is that. This is causing the crash. Okay. Add message sent. Add chat message. Add chat message. Add chat message. New chat message. Why is that? Hmm. Maybe it's not that, but where's game component? But this. Let's see. Nope. Wait, yes, right? No. As soon as I as soon as I do something there. Okay, um, wait, it still comes in the thing. Why is that? Oh, because I get a message on received? Alright, maybe we'll just do it there. Maybe we'll just do... Oh, wait, it's already, it should already be, um, sending the message. So, we reinstate that. Will it work now? Mm, still no bubble, but no crash, which is nice. Um, just sent message. Oh, that's not. Oh, this is still coming to the out. Let's see. Hmm, still no bubble. Toasted pickle asks, "What type of game am I making?" I'm trying to make kind of like RuneScape if you ever played it um, similar to that in the fact that it's like the same clicking and to move and there's items and it's a multiplayer online game but there's going to be a, a bunch of differences um, yeah if you want to test this out go to alpha dot not keep well you can go to that as well but alpha dot berrygame.com b-e-r-i game.com and you can play what I've built so far with working chat bubbles which is what I'm trying to fix now um, I did a bit of refactoring and it broke the chat bubble system unfortunately so we're gonna use a new use effect just to test this out Right. 
that's the biggest says I'll check it out right now sweet I might see you online that could be you oh yeah you're walking around nice hello my chat bubbles aren't working um just sent message no oh and it crashes cringe all right i'll open up just the no this one <laughs> um why is this broken Oh, state the chat messages, new chat message, no. Um, how do I? Oh, by the way, the chat is broken on Android. If you're on Android, I need to fix that probably soon. Sooner than later. Let me stash these changes and fix the chat on Android. Uh, let's see what my local changes are. Oh, quite a bit. Yeah. Um, UI refactor. Stash those changes. All right, let's see why this shit is broken on Android. Actually, that'll be hard to do as well. Um... Cause it's like the enter key that you press to send doesn't work on Android. Also, the like views. Let's see if I can get this. At certain dimensions, I feel the chat box doesn't render properly. Seems fine. I don't know why. Let me check my phone. Let's see. Yo, John, welcome. Yeah, see, the chat button is missing from my phone. Oh, you can't really see it, but um, let's see if I can debug on Android. You can debug Chrome on Android. Remote debugging. Here we go. Set up your Android for remote debugging. Inspect DevTools. Let's see if I have DevTools. Wait, what? DevTools? Oh, I just heard this. Chrome inspect devices. USB cable. Luckily, I have a whole box full over here. Oh, it's really <laughs> trying to get it not to blur. So, yeah, see. Um, I had a decent one. Is this it? I think this is it. Yep, nice. go. I think I have USB debugging enabled. Um, let's see if it finds it. USB for file transfer. Probably haven't enabled debugging on this. Does this thing say how to do it? 
on the phone. Developer options on your Android. Developer settings. Don't oh, developer options. And USB debugging, it is enabled. Okay. Oh, here we go. Cube space. Inspect. Nice. So this is actually running on my phone. And you can see I don't have that chat button which I'm supposed to have on here. See this chat button? I don't have it on Android. What's going on, Android? Can we inspect element here? I'm pretty sure we can. Let's do that with the same looking button. Boom. We go up. We can see our computed layout. And where's our chat box? Here it is. I think it's just a bit low. Let's see if I remove the top by. Oh shit, I just hit the. Hit the USB is real finicky. Let's do that again. Remote debugging. Inspect this game. Whoa, someone said, what's up? Who's that? Who's that saying, what's up? I can't chat to them, but hello. The what's up dude on alpha.berry game. I'm trying to see where my chat box is at. Change this top to zero. Ah, oh, there it is. So on... On Android, it's actually a bit too far down. That's interesting. What should I? How should I do that? Should I have the Android-specific CSS? Why is there a big gap? It's because it's not full screen. Man, this is interesting. I'm think. I just want to do a quick fix at the moment. Yeah, I'm gonna just make the at uh, the height. Um, 85 view height. Let's see how that looks on desktop. Um, it's fine. Alright, I'm just going to quickly push that up and that should deploy to um, should deploy to alpha.berrygame.com just through Cloudflare. We can actually watch that. Let's go to cloudflare.com and we can see it getting deployed in real time. Very cool stuff. Oh shit, that's what that is, hold on, damn, I knew, yeah, shit, okay, how does that look on YouTube, I'm gonna check, alright, Berry Game, nope, oh. actually I have to go to Pages, Pages, Berry Game, Alpha Dot Berry Game, oh, yeah, see, deployment in progress, See, it's building right now. Um, how long did the last one take? Two minutes. Pretty fast. All things considered. Um, oh, we get to see our latest code change as well. Which is cool. Um, but will the chat work now? On on the mobile. I think it still might not work. I think I need to hide the NPC chat from the chat log too, it's pretty annoying. 
Um, what is this? What is this? Drupal? Nope. Cube space. I've thought tech friend. I've thought berry game. Why is that not there? Refresh. Put the USB back in. See if I can see my Android device. No. Mm. Oh, there it was. Damn it. I refreshed it. again. Alright, I guess we'll just wait a little bit. Um, yeah, for some reason the enter key wasn't working on on my ting. Offline. Please accept debug session on the device. What? It's pretty annoying. Oh, well, as soon as I disconnected. Oh no, this is Chrome. Wait, no, that is my device. Is it? So weird. Shit, am I just doxing my IP for my Chromecast? Why is that there? Right. Um. Here. Alpha dot berry game. There we go. Okay. The chat's still not there. Let's refresh. Surely it's deployed. There we go. Chat's there. I can type, but when I press enter, it just goes new line. Weirdly. Um, can you send local host to that? To the phone? Let's see. No. You cannot. Very sad. Very sad. Um, how can I debug this? I'm just gonna Google enter key. Can I have a new tab here? Enter key not working. JS Android. Go. Thirteen. Always 13. What do I have? Key down handler. Let's go into that definition. Escape. Oh. 13. Let's see if that makes it work. Um, we'll test it out on desktop first. Oh. Yeah, still works. All right, so pro tip for everyone developing cross device on the web with JavaScript is use the code 13 instead of the string enter for the key down handler if you want it to work on all mobile devices as well because on um, Android, the enter is actually go, which isn't the enter string, but it is still key 13, so that uh, applies to all situations. So I'm going to commit this and then go take a pee. Um, have a little break, but I'll be back quite soon. I'll just put up the deploy while I'm gone. Oh, why did it close? I'll be right back.
going back. I'm just going to change some things up on YouTube. Let's see. I'm thinking it'll look better if I remove this and make my webcam bigger. Uh, move that to the back. I think this looks better. Um, I don't know how HD it is though. Whoa. So those are some things I'm gonna change. Um, just bear with me. We're gonna change this blend mode as well. Not something good. Oh, well, it's really. Hold on. Why is it still weird? Okay, and this chat. All right, that's a bit better. I think probably make TikTok chat a bit smaller, or just crop it, crop the top. Seven fifty, that's some good. Wait more. More crop left. Yeah, we'll go no profile pick. And on the right to the border, bottom as well. We'll add some to the right. Thomas Enrique Crespo, welcome, Crespo. Ah, here we go. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Are you a developer or just interested in tech? More than welcome. I'm developing a web app right now. Well, right now I'm actually fixing my stream on YouTube, but then, yeah, here we go. Right, get back into this web app here at alpha.berrygame.com. You're a developer, React and Node.js. Awesome, that's the same stack I'm using. The same stack I use to make the front end and back end of this game right here. So many people online, it's going to get annoying with all these clicks, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so what did I want to do next? Fix the chat UI. I'm refactoring my code. I've, um, I used to have like a hook inside a singular component. Now I've moved it, this UI refactor branch, into a grouped component called UI components, but now the chat is playing up. So I'm trying to fix that. You've never developed a game with React? Yeah, no one really does. React is more for like traditional web UI, but here I've taken it to actually make a game. Well, attempt to. It's still not finished. Still a long way to go. Some bugs to fix. Oh no, my enter key isn't working anymore. Oh no, this is... Wait a second. What? It was working. Hold on. What did that change here? Chat box. No. No. Git reset. 
Do you ever want to delete all your uncommitted changes? Just get reset hard. Boom. Damn, it still doesn't... Enter doesn't bring up chat. Oh my god, I broke it. Let me just... Whoa. How did I break that? I swear I tested it and it worked. Imagine if I was on the wrong thing. It probably was. Alright, I'm gonna close all this. Let's see. What happens when I press enter? What's the code? Code is enter. Oh no. Key code. Ah shit, that's what I wanted. Key code. Whoa. Alright. Surely this time. Enter. Yay. Okay. Okay. Make sure you use key code, ladies and gentlemen, not code. If you're using the key code, obviously. No, I feel silly. Commit and push. All right. Now, now I'm gonna reapply my stash with the UI refactor. What file should we open up? UI component and game component. Oh. Game component and chat box. No player controller. I think. Okay, so let's bring up our logs. When I type something, just sent message. Oh, it did work. Wait, what? And then it crashes the second time. So weird. Thanks for the like, Thomas. A S. Okay. Why doesn't it, the chat bubble show? So okay, when I get this message, chat just message sent, and it's not null, I'm expecting to have this chat bubble show. All right, for the argument's sake. Oh, here. This is why. This should be just sent message just sent message okay now I'm pretty confident it'll work hello no oh wait just sent message dot message okay this time surely hello yay all right we fixed it remove this console log and use effect and let's look over the code we just wrote um, so I removed some stuff in the back and actually I probably won't commit that um, so can you guys see that not well okay first first component games component we this is where the chat box used to be and this is where we had the original react hook send chat message unfortunately I can't make that any bigger oh yes I can yes I can okay and we had the original message here the original hook send chat message we removed that removed um, the hook which was previously being sent into player controller as well and then we went into the store which we have with Zustan and we created a new property in the chat store called the just sent message and when the, someone adds a new chat message we set that to the just sent message otherwise it's null and we have a clear just sent message to clear it um, yeah so let's commit that that looks good to me the games component looks good to me um, yeah, player controller update looks good. Chat box update. So we've added this, but we never used it, so we can discard that. Just clear message after eight seconds when we've added, when we sent the message. That's fine. Although it's not something to do with chat box here. Cool. 
does that matter? I think we should actually I'm gonna move where that code lives. Instead of having it here in chat box, I want it to be on that API where I add message, which is API TX here, add chat message. Um, that's actually where I want it. Because that just makes more sense. You have all the like code that's doing the related stuff right next to each other. Um, so I'll go move that timeout as well. And just make sure after eight seconds the timeout of the just sent message is cleared. Or I could have it in the player controller. I'm going to leave it here for now. It doesn't make too much difference in the end, but but um, yeah, it's good to know where your stuff lives, where your code lives. All right, in the API, we've added that clear. That's what we just did. Add that. Um, just cleaned up some things in the app.js. OK, so refactor UI components. Push that. And the whole reason I made that UI components component in the first place was whoops, was so I could make a new component called the inventory component, which I think I've already made. Let me just inventory. Nope, I haven't made it. Uh, let's make it here. Inventory. Save that in the components here. Inventory .tsx already exists and I've replaced it. Okay, so why couldn't I import it? Inventory, there we go. Sweet. So now we have, what's this group thing complaining? Group doesn't exist. You gotta wrap this in that. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. that what oh my god I really messed this up there still complaining because group doesn't exist in JSX how did I fix this the other time um where else would have it Alpha Island oh you just don't even have a group okay that's fine. We don't need it, I guess. Let's see if my app is broken or not. Looks fine. Can I chat? Yes, I can. Can I like interact with this? Uh, interesting. Okay, that's fine. Jason M asks, "What language is this?" This is React, JavaScript, TypeScript. Thanks for the question. Let me know if you have any other questions. All right, my inventory. So what I want to do in the inventory initially is now like when you press I, I want it to show. Um, but first, before I do that, I'm going to make sure it's obvious to see once it does show. So I'm going to go style width 500, height 500, background color. red okay um, and then sometimes you need some content for it to actually render as well so I'll just add some plus signs just so we can see it um, let's see if it shows yep we can see a massive inventory I'm gonna make it 50 so it's less obvious there we go okay cool um, now we want it to sh hide when it's when we haven't opened it. So <laughs> um, I'm going to just make a hook here called show inventory. Really simple. Initialize it to false. Got to import use state. It won't let me. That's annoying. Uh, can I do like this? Yes, I can. Sweet. Show inventory, please. 
only when you're showing inventory, that's when we should render the, the div. Uh, do we need to? No. Show inventory and and. Oh. Wait. Okay, interesting refactor, interesting prettifier. But anyway, there. So now it won't show. Um, but now we're gonna make it. Whenever I press I, it should show. So let's borrow some code from the chat box here. We have an event listener here, which listens for key downs, and um, we will put that here on our initial code. Whenever someone. So this um, use effect with the empty brackets will just run on the first um, render of your component. So we have a key down um, handler. Which will, sorry for that which will um, listen to if the I key is pressed, which I don't know what what that key code is, so we're just going to do an e.keycode need to have e as a parameter and let's see what it is I 73 so if e.keycode equals 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 73 uh, set show inventory to the opposite of what it is already so that should toggle it on I press I I I I I okay it worked once but not twice why is that ye yeah way welcome yeah way which way that way. Which way? Yeah, way. That way. <laughs> um, hope you like my song. Okay, I press I, it works once. Press I again. It never sets it to true. Why is that? It's because of the key down handler. Oh, sorry. Is not getting updated with the new hooks. Because that is only. What does a false do? Listener. William. I don't know, maybe that's what I need. This doesn't make too much sense to me, hold on. Wait, does there. Because I got the very similar code here. Interesting. I think this might be like something that I've run into before where React hooks and the event listener for key down doesn't work. So I think I actually have to use something else. Let me Google it here. React hooks and event listener key down. Use key press? Oh, that's sick. Is that a React thing? Oh, use hooks. Hook recipes. What? Use key press. But they're just using the same thing under the hood. How do they initialize it? Hmm. Window dot. Should I use window instead of document? Would that make a difference? Let's see. I. I again. Nope. Nope. Hmm. Why is this?
done that. Second thing, you are not mutating the press array. Oh, uh, huh? No. That is bullshit if that's why. Definitely being cold. True. Oh, what? It worked when I went off and back on the tab or something? Now it's just true all the time. That's really interesting. It's not going to false. But why? Why won't it update the hook? Set show inventory. It's like refreshing the whole component. This is the exact same problem I had with um mm, the exact same problem I had with the chat box, so I the use memo actually fixed it. I think it's good to use memo anyway. See if that'll fix it for this. I no, it did not. It's so dumb. Should I make that? I'm gonna make that key store. Whatever it's called. What is this? Use key press. Literally gonna copy this. Use key pressed. And then I'm going to save it as use key press dot. There's a TypeScript. TSX. Okay. Do I need to import that? That's fine. And this one, also fine. Okay. Now, I'm going to import it like here. Wait, what? Const I key press equals use key press. Please come. No. Use key press. I. I am exporting the right. Oh no, I'm not. Export default use key press use key press sick all right what will happen use effect let's listen to the Key press. I key press. I key press. Let's see. Key press always false. What goes true and false? Does both. Uh, I key press. And then just comment this out. Let's see. I. It stops it on key up. But I actually think this is what I want. I just gotta remove the key up one. 
it's like you pressed equals false. Oh, do I want that? No, nah, not really. I don't really want that. Or I'll remove it here. Okay. So this seems like it works pretty nicely. I was wrong. I was wrong. What the fuck? <laughs> Why doesn't it work the second time? Oh. Wait. Target key. If key equals target key. Alright, let me just see if I can do this. No. Same problem. Damn, man. That's some weird shiz. It's like every... Every render, the whole component is getting re-rendered. I had this problem with the chat box too, it's pretty interesting. And I solved it with like, not just a use memo, but I also put all the listening stuff inside child components of the memo. What if I put the UI component in a memo? Will that work? That'd be awesome if it works, because then maybe I could remove it from the chat box as well. Let's see what happens. That's not what I wanted. Alright. I. Nope. Chat still work fine. Yep. So I, man. Comment this and remove the I key press because it just got us to where we were with this. Um, pretty much the same, so it works on the first one, but not on subsequent ones. There's, the hook doesn't change, the hook doesn't change in the use effect. Oh, so what if we change this? Wait, what? This is the wrong file. What if we change... What if we have it update the... Update the key listener every time that that is changed. That makes sense. Let's see if it works. I, I, yes, we fixed it, let's go, so it seems that we have to update the listener every time, because um, the, the method we call actually, here, wait, let's, let's show it, when we instantiate this, this thing never knows when this changes. Key down handler never knows when show inventory changes, unfortunately, because it's not part of the React DOM like shit. Also, it's a const. But when we put it, this dependency here, it actually updates. Interestingly, alright, let's um, commit this code, and I think I'm going to call it a day here. Maybe debatable. I might take a break and then we will see. Don't need this use key press. Bring up inventory on I key press. Commit and push. Did 
JC Lim, welcome. All right, so we have the inventory show on I. What do we need to do next? We need to actually be able to harvest berries and see it in the inventory. Keep tab, keep tabs of items in the database and locally and verify all the items are legit. Yeah, so stay tuned next time on Tech Friend where we will continue developing this cube space game which I have been developing for over a year now. It's actually called Berry Game. Um, no longer cube space. And it seems that I'm actually the character that is talking. Oh shit, I have to fix that bug real quick. Um, the way I do that is by removing this and making a new thing. Yep. Set just sent message, and we're gonna set that to state just sent message. Okay, um, and we're gonna remove clear just sent. I'm gonna find clear just sent, and every everywhere we've used that, we're gonna actually use set set just sent message. Um, initialize that to null and um, here in add chat message actually in chat box oh man yeah hold on we need to do both add chat message here remove this wait yeah we don't even need that I'm gonna have it on the chat box instead remove it from here um, and add it in the chat box. This is where it was originally, interestingly enough, so I'm kind of going back in circles, but that's fine. Um, set just sent message to input text. Um, and then player controller. I think we'll just have just sent message here. If it's just the text, we'll double check that. Let's see if I chat. Nope, it broke, probably because we actually do need the message. Let's see if that's why. Can I avoid having to write debugs? Yeah, no, I can't. Okay, we're gonna need to do some testing here. Looks like I didn't save api.tx, there we go. Well, ASD input text, that's sweet. Player controller. Just sent message. Still bugging out. Um, is it because of this? very well could be because of that. Um, set just sent message. Set just sent message. Hmm. Why is that breaking up? Why is that breaking? Is that breaking here or? Where is that breaking? Comment this out. 
I don't think it is breaking here. Why you ask React Native can build games? Um, yeah, definitely can. It's probably not ideal, but in some situations it could be good. Thanks for the question, Wahyu. Trion, Triono. QWERTY, welcome. Okay, it's not that either. Okay. Where else to have I? Just a message. Oh, here. Why is that here? Okay, yep, for sure. For sure. It doesn't need to be there, actually. That can be in player controller. Oh, it is in player controller. Boom. So we don't even need that. Um, still gonna break though. So I'm gonna do if this just sent message. What if I just send no? I want to watch your video, but I have work, says Wahyu. Oh, damn. Well, you can watch all my past videos on YouTube, just at TechFriend. Link's in my bio. Um, subscribe. Hopefully, I'll be making more content. Thank you for enjoying the content. Just debugging this just sent message. Have I done the store wrong? Let's have a look at the store. Um, just send message, set just send message, set state, chat message, oh, I was uh, changing the wrong variable, changing the wrong key, let's see if this works, sweet, that works, let's see if we can uncomment the bubble code, will the bubble show now? Ashu asks, you asks, do you have a tutorial about web sockets? Um, I actually don't have a good one on web sockets, unfortunately. Sorry, how to set them up. I do use web sockets, and I mention them in some of my videos, but like, I don't have a really good one dedicated to web sockets, unfortunately, man. Sorry. Maybe I could make one in the future. Um, we'll see. We will see. I'm just trying to get this. Just sent message working. Hmm. Is it updating? Oh, is it because I sent it to null? Yeah. That's why. Alright, I'm pretty confident it'll work now. Cactus, hello. Oh, it still didn't work. Hello. Thank you, I'll go and subscribe to YouTube. Awesome, thank you so much Wahoo. Really appreciate all the subscribers. Don't have many on YouTube, I only have like 150. Um, but I appreciate everyone watching, if they could subscribe, that would be awesome. Oh, this doesn't even change. Okay, yeah, sure. Just sent message. Just sent message. Uh huh. Chat messages. No? State dot. No, no, no. Message. State dot. Message. Okay. This time. Surely. Hello. No. New chat message. Oh, not state. Oh, man. There we go. This time. I'm getting, I'm getting inefficient. I need to take a break. ASD, let's go. Okay. Let's push this. And then I'll be taking a little quick break. And let's see what I change. This is good. I did like three commits in half an hour. Yep, remove the need for that. Don't need this. Add chat message there. I think this is mostly predefire. 
Oh, let's uncomment this. Make sure the chat bubble disappears. In eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, nice. All right. And, um, yep, update the store. Fix chat, I don't know exactly what that was again. I think I probably should end it, to be honest. Um, approaching on two hours. Should I keep going? What am I going to do next? Let's think about it. Medieval Rose, welcome to the stream. Feel free to ask any questions while you've got me here. I don't know how much longer I will be staying. Um, inventory system. Oh yeah, when we click harvest tree, it should walk up to the tree. Start doing the harvest action and animation. And then we have a chance of receiving a berry in our inventory. That is the plan for next time. Um, stay tuned. Hopefully I'll clip all of these videos and post them on TikTok. I've, I'm very overdue on that, but we'll get that done soon. Sweet. Peace out.